Joining me now is Patriot Captain Devin McCourty. And right out of the gate, let me ask you this. What's the mood of this football team right now? Ready to go. Um, I think when you got an opportunity in front of you, it makes things a lot easier to get over tough losses or whatever you want to call it that happened a week before because you know the opportunity you have at hand and what's at stake. So um, everybody's kind of turning the page and getting ready to go to play in a very playoff style game this weekend. Yeah, you guys have been good at that, turning the page. Wins and losses, you've been good at that. But the last two losses have been like gut punch <laughs> losses. Do you feel like as a captain, you have to say more? Do you have to do more after those two losses? No, I think the biggest thing is you do. You know, I always compare like being an older guy and a captain on the team isn't much different than an older brother or a parent. Like I can tell you a bunch of different things mm -hmm. you should do. And, you know, in a tough time you hear it, but it's just like, okay, you know, but if I see you actively doing things and you're pushing us forward and you're doing, you know, what you, I see that example. And now I'm like, okay, like if I want to be successful, if I want to, you know, whatever it is, I need to follow that lead and do that. And I, that's what I think about not just captains, but older guys who have been in situations like this, you need to go out there and do, and not just do, you know, a play or two, like over and over and over again. Um, and then the young guys see that, you know, they don't know. They don't right. know what they don't know. Right. Uh, but they're all looking to follow somebody. And they follow. And they follow. Okay, so here's the deal. All that being said, two wins, you guys are in. Yeah. Is it fun knowing? Is it hard to believe knowing that you still control your own destiny? Yeah, I mean... It you know, it's, it's where you would rather be. You know, you don't want to be, you know, a team where you're not playing for anything. Mm -hmm. um, but also, you, you're probably more comfortable knowing that you were in and knowing you clinched. So, uh, not the, the perfect situation, but I think to know where we're at. You know, we got two division opponents, two really good football teams. Yep. Um, and I just think about it. You go and win those games, and you're not just in. You've earned the right to be in. You know, we're talking about two playoff teams, you know, whether they both get in, I think Buffalo already clinched. Um, but do you have two teams that are playoff quality teams mm -hmm. and are going to be good football teams in the playoffs? So you beat those teams and it's not just like, I mean, we snuck in here. It's like, no, like we, we had to earn the right. right to be in here. Let's go. Let's practice confidently. Let's play confidently uh, and, and play like we were meant to be there. Last home game of the year. How special will it be to bring in the new year with a win? Oh, it'll be great, man. Our fans have been uh, showing up week in and week out, and like you said, we've had some we've had some tough losses where, you know, it's always tough as a team. We're as players and stuff. We're putting in the work. We're in here working, but you know, this fan base, you know, puts a lot of time and effort in supporting this team. You know, I've been here in years where it's a snowstorm and we come back mm -hmm. and our cars are completely cleared off. Um, just some, I think, really loyal fans that you know give it all. So. To go out there, last home game. My family's coming up. We've got J Mac coming to J the game. J Mac's coming to the game. You know, so it, it's going to be fun to go out there and, and hopefully bring in the new year the right way in Foxborough. Where you go, Captain. Appreciate it. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.